It's Welcome Mark Welcome to the Corn Maze. <laughs> hey, it's the man behind the whole plan here. We're here at the Bluebell Corn Maze once again. Look at this. I'm already having a great time, and I haven't even been in the maze yet. There's so much going on here at the Bluebell Corn Maze. What are we going to see today? We're going to see everything we got going, from the pumpkin patch to the goats to everything you want to eat. Oh. And some we're haunt too, so be careful about that. Oh, so you can have some scary stuff as well. Maybe not today, but sometime in the future. Sometime in the future, we'll start scaring the maze. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so it's called the Bluebell Corn Maze, but like Mark says, there's so much more here to do than just walk through some corn. No, that's like the last thing you do. You got to come see some of this stuff. What do you want to see first? We got to save the big guy for last. You'll find out what that is later. How about, uh, how about we start with some kitty stuff? Let's go to the playground. Okay, playground it is. Come on. Okay, so uh, we're, we're here at the kids' play area? Yeah, this is a play area. Yeah. You ever seen a weird swing like this? I thought this was like a pipe for Well, like it moving. is a pipe, but you know farmers, they can take things and make anything out of it. So, so try it. Why don't you try it? It's a swing. I'm supposed to get yeah. up on here, right? So, yeah, let's see what we can do here. <laughs> okay, David. so am I allowed to hold on or am I not supposed <laughs> well, to? Well, I think you're supposed to walk. <laughs> I'm pipe. so heavy, <laughs> I've just got it stuck down here. So this is a, apparently meant for the smaller people, yes. the smaller visitors. One of the many things that you have available here within the play yeah, area. It's a lot of fun. You could probably fit like 20 kids on this thing. Yeah, we call it go. the snake. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you got a snake and you got some stuff behind me. You see some animals? We got the goats. You got goats. We got goats. <laughs> kids love goats. Goats well, love kids. And apparently, you've got some sort of dispensing unit yes. here. The kids like to feed the goats. Look at that. And, there's... and the goats love to be. Oh, don't feed him the quarter. <laughs> don't feed him the quarter. Don't feed him the quarter. <laughs> <laughs> put it in the machine. <laughs> apparently, you, you 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 get quarters and you put the quarters in the machine and and then you get food for for the goats. They would probably eat the quarters. They might. They I might. Don't know. They might. They seem happy to eat anything. Let's see some of these kids here. Yeah. Have a good time with the goats. He won't hurt you. Oh, he wants some. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like candy. Okay, goat fact number one. Male and female goats can both have beards. See? Bearded lady, you're not alone. Go, 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 go! <laughs> oh, that's meant for little people, not big people. Hey, this is obviously, a, like, it's like the corn maze, like the big one, but it's, it's obviously meant for people who are oh, smaller. Are smaller. Yeah. <laughs> who don't hit their back on that big bunk in there. So that's basically what it is. It's just a maze, right? Yeah, it's a small maze made out of big round bales. That's cool. And we have a pipe. They can slide down the pipe. They can crawl through pipes on the inside. <laughs> they have a ball. You farmers, you can make pipe into anything. Slides and swings and maybe some other things we'll see here in a little <laughs> bit. Let's, let's go look at some more. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Me too! <laughs> corn! Corn! <laughs> There's so much corn! <laughs> okay, so obviously you have a corn bin. A corn that, bin. That was a lot of fun. I like the corn bin. And you also have, to wrap up the children's area, this cool, what do you call this thing? A cow train. It's a cow train. Everybody can use some more cow train. We're going to see them go right now. So if nothing else, make sure your kids get a ride on the train. Okay, so let's say the cow train just isn't your thing. Let's say swinging on a pipe isn't your thing. You're a little older than that. You want to blow something up. Well, look at what we have here, various and sundry projectiles. <laughs> what do we got here? Uh, this is a pumpkin blaster. Pumpkin blaster! Okay, that was fun, but it's got nothing on what you're gonna see next. Come on. Alright, and here we are, the coup de gras. It's the actual maze of the Bluebell Corn Maze. <laughs> Look, right behind us, you walk right in there and you just get lost, like the sign says. Now what makes a farmer decide to stop growing corn in a certain area and instead to 
grow a maze. Well, you know, there was some kids here in town. They traveled all the way to Salt Lake to go to a corn maze. And I oh. says, man, we don't have enough stuff for our kids to do out here. That's so true. Let's make some money for me. Let's do something good for the community and build a corn maze. That's awesome. When, is it more difficult? I mean, how, when you're talking about raising corn or, or having people run through your field, uh, what's harder to do? It's a lot more labor intensive to put a maze in a field of corn really? than just cut it for corn. How come? Well, because you have to cut the maize out. You do all the other things like plant the corn, okay. irrigate the corn. Then you have to, in a maize, you have to cut the trails. It has to make sense. It has to look good. It has to be interesting. It has to be challenging. And you got to so keep it So you have to figure way. all that out. So after you get the corn growing, you <laughs> go in and cut the trails out, maintain the trails, make this patch look like it does, and then right. open up for public. And then far after when you would usually harvest, you're still maintaining this awesome maze exactly. so that people can continue to enjoy it. Now, what do you got here? This is what this it actually is looks like. This the pattern for this year. And you can find this online, I imagine? At Bluebell Corn Maze. Bluebellcornmaze.com. You can take a look of where you're gonna get lost in there. And it probably helps to have this while you're actually walking around You bet, it helps a lot. Well, I've got you and you're gonna be the ultimate guide, so I'm not gonna get lost like I did two years ago. I'm just gonna stay right on your heels, okay? <laughs> Let's go do it. You, you know where you're going, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm trusting you. Your son didn't do such a good go. job. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so, you know, we started on this trail, so to speak, but there's more than one way to go, right? Yes, there's many decisions you can make in this corn maze. We've got three trails. Oh. Phase one, okay. phase two, and we have a haunted trail that's separate from everything else. Wait, hold on, a haunted trail? A haunted trail. Oh, <laughs> look at that thing, that's creepy. <laughs> Well, come on. You want a box? No, don't hit the people in the hunt. So you have like, like kind of a, is it just for a certain period of time that you yes. get to see scary stuff? Yes. After dark, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Oh. Three weeks. You could bring a date and she'll be forced to snuggle up really close to stay away from the scary guys back there. We guarantee lots of fun. <laughs> nice. Let's get out of here. All right. That guy's creeping me out a little bit. So. When's the best time to come to a corn maze? I'd come early in the season when the corn's green and beautiful. We got lots of pumpkins in the pumpkin patch. The weather's nice. It's just great to have a have an early experience instead of a late one. We're good all the time, but I sure like the green corn instead of the frozen corn. Yeah, I hear you. You won't get smacked in the face with these yeah. frozen leaves instead of you know these nice kind of yeah. nimble. <laughs> <laughs> this. This will scare your pants off. What do you call this thing? Claustrophobia. Claustrophobia, but you gotta say it with a menacing voice. Claustrophobia. <laughs> okay, so the reason why they call that is it's hard to see on the camera because it's black. And, and watch, I'm gonna take off my glasses because I have a feeling this is gonna hurt me a little bit. Watch what happens. Hey! You know, after taking a walk like that, it was a fun walk, don't get me wrong, but you, you can keep work up a little bit of an appetite. That's right. And we want to satisfy that. And you have the ability to right here at the snack bar. That's right. What do you got? We got everything you want. We got pop and water and hot chocolate, hot cider, oh. coffee. We got cookies. Our specialty. Specialty. Kettle corn. And this is fresh, homemade, right here kettle corn, That's right? right. This year we added cotton candy. Fresh cotton candy? Fresh cotton candy. Oh, man. Frito pie, chili, hot dogs, hot links. Well, you had me at hot chocolate, so, yeah. you know, because you come at a, a nice cool night, you've had a good time to warm up, get something to eat, you have everything you need here. Yep. I think I even saw some nachos. We have nachos. When we're done Macho here. Macho nachos. Macho nachos. <laughs> <laughs> when we're done here, I'm going to get some nachos. But we're not done yet, because, I mean, we've seen a lot of stuff. But one of the most important things that people can come here and do is when they've had all this fun, they can take a piece of them a piece of it that is home with them in the form of a pumpkin. You bet. And you've got an incredible pumpkin patch that you actually will transport people to. You bet. We have a, a wagon that we, we can load them on. The uh -huh. tractor pulls them down to the pumpkin patch where they pick their own pumpkin right off the vine. Right off the vine. And they get kind of like a free hay ride out of it. Sure. Can I go get a free hay ride? Sure. I want a pumpkin. Let's go get one. I'm really interested in finding the perfect pumpkin. We have several perfect pumpkins. <laughs> I'm going to find it. Let's go. <laughs> It's pumpkin time. Oh. Oh. All right. 
right. Well, we've been through the maze. I got my pumpkin. This has been an experience. Let me tell you what. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Well, thanks for coming. <laughs> sure thing. Let's now let's remind everybody uh, when we're open. We're open Tuesdays and Wednesdays for reservations. You want to bring big groups. You want to bring families, okay. church, athletic clubs, all those things. Tuesdays and Wednesdays river reservations. Thursdays and Fridays, five o'clock to nine o'clock. Five o'clock, nine o'clock. Thursday. Saturday, Fridays. eleven to ten. Oh, okay. We're open UEA weekend from eleven to 10. Very nice. Okay, so you can come enjoy that. You, you can come more than once. You can come for a regular time and come back for the haunt. That's right. And to find it, just get to Bluebell. Find Bluebell, you know where it is. Go north. North. <laughs> I, I don't even know where I'm at. If you're in Roosevelt, go on second north, head oh. towards Neola, follow the signs. You can't miss Bluebell. It says It's Cornmates. 20 minutes from Roosevelt. If you're in Duchesne, go through Aldemont, four miles east of Aldemont. I need to get my geography down, apparently. Yes. <laughs> it's been awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, Thanks Mark. Thanks for coming. And thank you for watching It's My Business. We'll see you guys next time. Woohoo! Pumpkin! <laughs>